Go to the Start menu and click on Control Panel. Click Add or Remove Programs. In this window, click Add Remove Windows Components tab. Now it will show you the Windows Components wizard. In this Components list, select Internet Information Services, IIS, that checkbox, and then click Details. A separate Internet Information Services window will then be opened. Just mark the File Transfer Protocol, the FTP service, and Front Page 2000 Server Extensions checkboxes. Click OK and the Next buttons. The system will make the configuration changes as per our request. Now, it will show a message that Windows XP Professional CD. Because Windows XP will have the IIS by default, it's not provided as public, so we have to configure it. When you insert the XP Professional CD, the system will automatically get its required data. When you're done with the installation, the Windows Component Wizard will be displayed. Here, click Finish. All right then, we've now successfully installed IIS. So let's surge forward and learn how to install .NET 2003. Insert the Visual Studio .NET 2003 DVD into the drive. The setup routine should start automatically. If it doesn't, open Visual Studio .NET 2003 folder and then double-click the Setup icon. Visual Studio .NET Setup Wizard will then appear on the screen. This setup program determines whether our machine requires any Windows components to be updated. After completing it successfully, Visual Studio .NET Setup screen will then be displayed. These are the tasks we have to install. Let's start with Visual Studio .NET prerequisites. You'll get a progress meter like this. After completing the process, Visual Studio .NET Setup screen will be displayed. This Visual Studio .NET prerequisites will then install these components. After installing all the Windows components, Visual Studio .NET prerequisite setup windows will display a message like this. Components installed successfully. Here, click Done to complete the prerequisites process. We are now ready to install Visual Studio .NET. Click Visual Studio .NET to start the installation. The setup program continues loading installation components. Once again, the progress bar is displayed for indication. After completing it, Microsoft Visual Studio Professional Setup Start page will then be displayed. Read the End User License Agreements and then select I Agree radio button. Give the name as Wings and click Continue button to proceed with the next section, and that is the Options page. On the Options page, you'll select the components that you wish to install. Now, if you're unsure about the components to install, simply click Restore Defaults. Now, click the Install Now button. Now, it might take a few hours to complete this part of the installation process. The progress bar will show you an estimated time to complete the installation. This part of the installation process may take a couple of hours, as I said. It depends.